An important and often overlooked primitive survival skill is the making of cordage. Cordage can be made from a lot of natural materials. I've made cordage from the inner bark of pine and willow and from the stems of cattails, tules, grasses, and rushes. My favorite material for making cordage are the fibers found in certain palms, flax, agave, and most of all, yucca. Over the years, I have made and used hundreds of meters of cordage. I've used it to make nets, small mats, bags, belts, sandal lacing, construction projects, and more. In this video, I'm going to show you the technique I use to roll yucca fibers into strong cordage. This same technique can also be used with other fibers. I prefer to use long fibers because then I don't have to add fibers as often and that makes the process faster. But you can use fibers as short as 15 centimeters or even less. The fibers I'm using for this demonstration were taken from the leaves of the Hespero yucca whiplay, commonly called chaparral yucca. I also use the fibers of Mojave yucca and banana yucca too. I begin the process by taking a small amount of fibers according to the desired thickness I want for the final product. I fold and pinch this bundle of fibers together in the middle and then I roll and twist each half several times to get the process started. I could continue making cordage in this manner, but it would take a very long time. A faster method is to roll the fibers on my thigh. My buckskin pants are perfect for rolling cordage, but many materials won't work and the fibers will just slide over it. Wet jeans may work, but you can also use the bare skin of your leg. You will have to add a little oil and moisture to the area of the leg where the fibers will be rolled or it probably won't work. I always moisten the fibers so that they remain pliable and this reduces the likelihood of them breaking, especially in a dry climate. I pinch the spot where the cordage separates into two strands. I spread the two strands of fibers in a V form across my leg. Then I place my hand over the fibers and slide my hand forward and slightly lateral. If done properly with the right amount of moisture and pressure, the fibers will roll tightly together in two twisted strands. I then release my grip with my other hand to allow the counter turn to occur. With that single movement, I just made over an inch of tightly twisted cordage. I repeat this process a few times and then I add a few more fibers. My goal usually is to maintain approximately the same thickness the entire length of cordage. I make a few twists to lock in the newly added fibers and I moisten them before rolling them. I continue this process of rolling and adding fibers until I have the desired length of cordage. I prefer to sit high on top of a rock when I make cordage so that the finished cordage can hang along the side of the rock. This way I don't have to wind the finished cordage around my hand as often. As I roll new cordage with my right hand, I also roll the finished cordage with my left hand. This helps to make a really tight twist. When the roll of cordage hangs down to the ground, I roll it up over my hand and secure it so it won't unravel. Then I continue making more cordage. This way I can prevent tangles and knots from forming.
When everything is working smoothly, I can make at least six meters of cordage in one hour. Yucca cordage is very strong and will last a long time if protected from the sun and elements. After some practice, making cordage becomes a relaxing and enjoyable pastime. When you've made a lot of cordage, then you can use it to make other useful and decorative items. I used about 40 meters of cordage to make this burden basket. <laughs> 